Talk to us about the heat, man. Not the good stuff. No. Yeah, we're, we're used to it. You know, temperatures this time of the year getting into the upper 90s. It's never, never anything that we like to have to deal with, but we are used to dealing with it. Uh, cloud cover worked its way into North Texas today, and we saw this cloud cover come out of Oklahoma because of a shower and thunderstorm activity area that developed, pushed its way north to south. So we saw some of that cloud cover work in, and that helped us out as far as the temperature was concerned. The high temperature today, 97 degrees, right at average this time. Of the year. It was a warm morning at 81 degrees. We didn't reach 100, and we've only reached 100 two times now this year. Uh, the number of 100 degrees day, 100 degree days last year was 23. That was by the end of the July, about 21 for us. 100 degree days so far this year, two. And the average last day of 100 is about August 26. So we're closing in on that. However, I do think we're going to get close to that or probably add to those totals the next couple of days. Temperatures right now across the Metroplex, upper 80s to the low 90s. Uh, we're going to see those temperatures drop their way down to the low 80s overnight, about 82 degrees. And then tomorrow, I am forecasting 100 degrees. We'll see south winds near about 10 to 15 hold on and partly cloudy skies on the way. But while, in fact, I am forecasting 100, it's going to feel more like 106 to 107. The humidity definitely in place for us. That's why we have a heat advisory in effect until 7 o'clock uh, for tomorrow evening. So high pressures building overhead for us in the Southern Plains, continuing to build right overhead Saturday into Sunday. No rain in the forecast this weekend. Our temperatures remain hot as we go through the weekend. 101 Saturday, 102 Sunday, Monday 103. But then some changes are on the way. We'll see 101 on Tuesday. Frontal boundary approaches sinks its way to the south. Small rain chances on the way on Tuesday at 20 percent. We'll see the upper 90s by next Wednesday and Thursday. So after we heat up, we finally cool down just a bit. Back into the upper 90s for mid week next week.